School is back following the President's Day vacation, and we're layered up a little bit with the chillier air. Really pretty winter days, though, at the end of it all, as we're into the middle 60s the next couple of days. Nice sunshine and clear skies. And by the weekend, looks like we start to warm up a bit as we're back into the mid-70s. Full five-day forecast updated every 15 minutes. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish tracking our next uh, rainmaker for late in the week and weekend. How that may impact some of your outdoor plans coming up as well. New from overnight, a man in his mid-30s from the Jacksonville area died in a single vehicle crash right where 9B ends and intersects with St. John's Parkway in the Durban area. It's an area that is prone to crashes, and in this case, it was deadly in the overnight hours. Speed possible, and Florida Highway Patrol also saying that the driver was not wearing a seatbelt. No other vehicles were involved. Today is a deadline to register if you want to have your say in the March presidential preference primary in the state of Florida. Only President Biden's name is on the Democratic primary ballot. Governor Ron DeSantis' name still appears on the Republican ballot, even though he suspended his presidential campaign. Uh, the primary is set for March 19th. A number of other storylines we're following for you on Jacksonville's Morning News as we are approaching the beginning of opening statements in the long-awaited federal fraud trial involving two former JEA executives, the former CEO Aaron Zahn and the former CFO Ryan Wanamaker, as we have seen jury selection underway over the last week or so. This is a fascinating case, one of the biggest fraud trials in Jacksonville history, and ultimately could go multiple weeks at the federal courthouse downtown. And if you have always wanted to be a part of of uh, space. Uh, here's a way for you to experience it in a unique way as NASA is looking for people to give up their lives for the better part of a year or more as part of its uh, future Mars experiment. This would uh, be here on Earth and would be in a lab, uh, but uh, a lot of uh, prerequisites, if you will. You can find out more about the story at WOKV.com. Be listening to Jacksonville's Morning News for continuing coverage of these and other stories. We're live and local with you every weekday morning from 5 until 10 on Jacksonville's Morning News. Listen live in your car radio and your smart speakers say play WOKV radio. Make sure you get our breaking news, severe weather, and traffic alerts when you download for free the 104.5 WOKV app.